Hi everyone, so today I will be doing this requested tutorial. This is a tutorial on a bridesmaid beach makeup look, okay? Mom, one of my followers on Facebook, she sent me a picture of her dress, which is a dark blue kind of aqua colored. It's like a mermaid type dress, like the colors of it, like they remind me of a mermaid and you know the ocean and stuff like that so I'll just put a picture right here so you guys can see how the picture how the dress looks but um, this is what I came up with It's a pretty affordable looking look looking look it's a pretty affordable look all together so she'll be able to recreate it or you can use a 120 palette most of these colors are in a 120 palette okay um, I also did the look without lashes and with lashes I really think the lashes really you know give it that extra little woo you know but um yeah if you guys want to see how I did this please keep on watching alright guys so we're gonna start off with our brows as you can see I brushed them in place and then I'm going to use this um, I believe this is a dark brown eye and brow pencil from wet n wild and I'm just gonna use this to fill in my brows this is very optional if you have um, nice full brows or you like your brows on the more natural side you could just leave it but I like to fill in my brows so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in and then I'm gonna use that brush and brush it out now I'm going to clean them out using some clean them out clean them up using some black opal concealer in tan and a concealer brush by the way sorry about that constant beeping you guys I will get this fixed tomorrow okay I'm too short to touch my ceilings or reach my ceilings so we'll get that fixed tomorrow Alright, so now we're just blending out that concealer and I'm going to kind of fade it into the front part of my brow. And then now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Primer Stick in Nude and I'm applying this all over the lid area. And then I'm going to go in with this kind of angled brush. It's a synthetic brush. I got this from Royal Care Cosmetics. It's one of the, their mini um, synthetic buffer brushes you would say or duo brushes it's really really good for blending out you know cream products or concealer now for the transition area I'm gonna use this brown eyeshadow this is from my black opal duo in tawny tees and I'm using a synthetic blending brush this one is from Sedona lace I'm gonna apply this into my transition area and just blend this out okay now using this very ivory light color, you can use the more flesh tone color if you like. I'm going to apply this to the lid using a eyeshadow brush from the Delium Tools and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. You can use a shimmery color if you want to too, but I felt like it was going to be too much shimmery so that's why I did a matte on the eyes and the shimmery on the lower lashes. So go back in with your blending brush and just blend that again just to make sure everything looks nice and smooth so you don't have any harsh lines. Take more, some more of that brown color and apply this to the outer part of the lid and blend it in. Now I'm just creating a very modest wing, just a tiny little wing you guys, just a tiny one. You can go a bit dramatic if you want to or you can keep it real simple without adding the wing part and just do a straight line, you know, but you guys know I like my wing liner, right? So we're just going to do a little modest wing and I'm using the NYC color liquid eyeliner. This is one of my favorite liquid eyeliners you guys. It's only $2.99. Why wouldn't it be my favorite? Of course. Alright so now if your line is a little crooked, looks a little you know rough around the elbows or whatever you know you can clean that up using some concealer just make sure you set it with some powder now I'm going to prime under my eyes using my pro primer stick from LA girl cosmetics in white and then I'm gonna blend that out using a synthetic brush now I'm gonna use this kind of um, I don't know jade colored eyeshadow and apply this to the inner part of my lower lash line underneath my lower lashes and then I'm gonna use this more of a kind of what, what, what would you guys call this hmm what would you call that? Hmm, teal? Yeah, teal. Put that into the center. And then I'm going to use the dark blue color, the dark blue shimmery color, and apply this to the outer part of the lower lashes. And this will give us that kind of gradient look, you know, that little effect. Same as the dress, so we can, you know, kind of match the dress. So now all you have to do is add your mascara. Lashes are totally optional, but I did add some in the end so you guys could see the different effects. So just add a good amount of mascara to the top and bottom part of your lashes. 
You know what's a good trick to make them look fuller? When you apply your first coat of mascara, give it a minute to dry for a couple of seconds and then go ahead and reapply your mascara. It will make them look fuller. Now I'm just lining my eyes using a nude eyeliner pencil. This one is from Remel London in the shade Nude. This will just make the eyes pop and look, make them look more awake. Here I am using the NYX Tinted Moisturizer in... Moisturizer? Is that a word? Moisturizer. Moisturizer. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Moisture, moisture, you know what, whatever. In the shade 10, I'm not even gonna try and say it again. I'm gonna use a small um, stippling brush and apply this all over my face. Don't worry, the moisturizer, moisturizer, that is such a funny word. It's going to adjust, so just give it a second, okay? And my face did get a lot darker from the sun. Been walking every other day and just, you know, getting a good tan out there. So don't worry, the shade will adjust a bit. And you can always use bronzers and everything else just to balance it out. So I'm just going to stipple this on all over my face. And I love, love, love this tinted moisturizer from NYX because it's buildable. It's light, but it's buildable. I did not like how the top <laughs> looked at all, you guys. So I'm just going to blend that out as much as I can. And I'm using the tinted moisturizer since it is a beach wedding theme I don't want to put on a lot of heavy foundation so just tinted moisturizer and some concealer this concealer is by fit me from Maybelline I believe it is and I believe this is in the shade cafe cafe or coffee I think it's cafe what do you guys think cafe probably but I'm really really liking this shade it's really really good it's not too light and it doesn't give me that kind of ashy you know off look it's, it's a really really nice shade so I'm going to tap this on underneath my eyes and blend this in with the tinted moisturizer. I'm using a foundation brush. I got this brush from Kmart. I think it's a really, really nice brush, you guys. I've had it for two years and I love it so much. It comes in a set of three, I believe, okay? Super, super awesome. Buy. It's $9.99 for the three brushes and they're double-ended. So you get, you get quite a lot for your little $10, okay? So now I'm going to finish off blending out this concealer. We're pretty much highlighting and contouring for the summertime, I know. Um, the concealer might seem a little heavy, but I don't feel like this Fit Me concealer is that heavy. I feel like it's pretty, pretty light, okay? Oh, I have those old, crusty looking hands, I know. My skin dries out really, really quickly, okay? But um, yeah, what I'm doing here is I basically took my stippling brush that I used to apply my tinted moisturizer and I'm going to blend out all the edges of the concealer, okay, just to make sure everything looks nice and even. I'm going to set under my eyes using some invisible oil blocking powder from Black Opal. You can use any powder that matches your concealer or your skin tone and just set it, you know, in place so it doesn't move. And it will also help mattify it so you don't look so shiny and sweaty and oily all those beautiful things that happen to us during the summertime <laughs> now I'm gonna contour my face using the city color contour effects kit and I'm going to use a small angled brush from the Delium tools just to contour my cheeks put the definition back in them and to make it just look like I lost about five pounds hello that's why we contour. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We just contoured to put the definition back in our face. That's all. But hey, it does give you that effect like you lost weight. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna... Oh, this... I hate when hairs come out of brushes. Especially if you paid a good amount of money for that brush. But anyway, so we're just going to contour the rest of our face and I'm using this synthetic brush from It's Your Face Cosmetics. I'm going to put the definition back into my nose so my nose look like it's a nose and not just a flat thing on my face. And I'm using the middle shade, the bronzing color, okay? You can use the darker shade in the contouring kit if you want to. It will give you more of a dramatic look. Now I'm going to use my favorite blush. It's a B-Matte blush from City Color. This one is in the shade Guava. Now I'm using Giddy Gold from Elf Cosmetics. This is one of their blushes to highlight both my cheeks. And then for the lips, I'm using Already Taken. This is a nude City Chic lipstick from City Color Cosmetics. And then for on top of the lips, I'm using this Frosty Pink Lip Gloss. I'm sorry guys, I forgot the name of it, but I will put it in the description box. It is from Black Opal and it's a beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. 
You can clean up around the lips if you want to, it's optional and I'm just gonna reapply some of my gloss just to make my lips look really nice and juicy. <laughs> and that's your look without the lashes of course. I added this little um, head thing here just to glam it up a bit and that is it without the lashes. And this is your look with the lashes. I really really do like the look with the lashes. Just make them look so much more fun. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and rate and subscribe. Bye guys!